In this video, we're going to talk about viewports. Being able to navigate the viewport in Unreal is extremely important because you're going to be doing this about, well, 100% of the time while working in Unreal. So let's talk about the viewport. So here you have a main viewport where we can see everything that has to do with our game level. So we're actually seeing inside of our game. If I come up here to where it says perspective, I can actually change the viewports. So we have a few different viewports. We've got a top viewport, a side, and a front viewport, and those are pretty self-explanatory. Over here in the top right, we have a little button that will maximize and restore our view. This is similar to most 3D programs if you ever use something like Maya or 3ds Max or anything like that. So we've got ourselves a side view, a front view, a top view, and of course the perspective view. Now in these isometric views, or these side, top, and front views, you can hold down the right mouse button and then just drag around while holding down the right mouse button and you can pan around in those views. You can also zoom in and out with the mouse uh, scroll wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize the perspective view by using that little icon in the top corner of the viewport. So we're back to the perspective view. Over here in the top left, we have some viewport options that we can uh, play around with. So for example, we've got a real-time option. And you notice that the shortcut keys, or the hotkeys, are listed in there too. So control R is the hotkey for real-time uh, view. So by using the real-time view, we can actually activate some items that are moving around. So for example, particle systems and particle effects, animated textures, that sort of thing. We've also got some stats. We can show the FPS, which stands for frames per second. We've also got an option to change the field of view, which you may want to do uh, while you're working. So it just depends on what you're comfortable working with. And we have a ton of other options here, like the uh, game view and the immersive mode. And the game view and immersive mode are pretty cool. I tend to use those myself in my workflow uh, pretty often. So with game view, if I hit the G key, G for game, or game view, I'll actually remove all of these helper objects and all of these little things. So basically the game will look the way that it's supposed to look in the final game. So we don't have any icons or any helper objects in the scene. If we hit control R to turn on real time, you can see that we can see what the final game will look like, which is pretty cool and very useful when you're working inside the uh, editor, setting up your environments and things like that. Then we also have the immersive view, and the shortcut for that, if you remember, is F11. And this allows the, uh, the viewport, basically, to take control of the entire Unreal Editor UI, which you can see it's pretty cool. It's kind of similar to hitting the tab key in Photoshop to hide all of the extra UI elements so you could just focus on the art or your work. If we come up here to the top left, we have some view modes. So lit mode's default, and you can see the shortcuts listed. If we switch to unlit mode, we can see our environment here without any lights affecting shaders or materials. We've also got a wireframe mode, and if you've ever used a program like Maya, 3ds Max, or anything like that, you're probably familiar with what a wireframe mode is. And it's just basically a mode that lets you see the wireframe of the, uh, the 3D geometry of meshes and static meshes, things like that. We've also got a show menu, which will allow you to turn th different things on and off. So for example, if you don't want to see any particle sprites in your scene, you can uncheck that. And any particle effects like smoke, explosions, fire, mist, stuff like that, uh, is going to disappear temporarily until you turn it back on. And then up here we have some widgets for transform tools. We're going to talk about that in depth in another video. Right now we're going to talk about viewport navigation, however which is very important because it's going to be what you use 100% of the time. So if you hold down the right mouse button and you drag the mouse around, you can actually look in your scene like if you were standing in there and tilting your head around to look. If you hold down the left mouse button and you move the mouse forward and backwards, you can actually dolly the camera forwards and backwards. And that's by using the left mouse button. We can also use the W, A, S, and D keys to navigate in our viewport. So if you, hit, if you hold down the right mouse button and you use the W key, you'll move forward. The S key will move backwards. The A key will pan to the left. And the D key will pan to the right. Very similar to first-person shooter games. So let's look at how we can frame in on an object. Any object that you select inside of Unreal Editor can be framed in on. This is very similar behavior to what you can see in programs again like Maya or 3ds Max. I'll select this audio cue and I'll hit the F key, F for frame, 
and that'll allow my camera to focus in and frame in on that object. And then if I hold down the Alt key and use the left mouse button, and I drag the mouse around, I can orbit and rotate around the object, very similar to most 3D programs that allow you to orbit around a selected object that you're focused in on. So those are pretty much the basics of camera navigation in Unreal Editor. These are going to be the uh, basically the tools in the hotkeys in the main things that you're going to be using in Unreal Ed literally about 100% of the time. So it's probably one of the most important things to understand is viewport controls and navigation.